Hello, welcome to another one of the big man's videos. Now, I know what you're thinking. Two videos in a week, what's wrong with this guy? But this time, I'm on my own. As you can see, no Zanners with me. It's just me on my own, the usual lot. So anyway, hope everybody's well. I know the weather's changed a little bit, but still, we've got to be out there enjoying it. It's still summertime. Anyway, this video today, I'm going to talk about why I decided to join Coral Products and why I use Coral Products, basically. Simple as that. Now, the reason why I got into Coral Products is because the missus got into it and she started to force it onto me and I was like, ah, no interested whatsoever. I'm sceptical of these things. No, no, no. And uh, she started putting on the kids and all that stuff and I seen results right away. Uh, so I said, right, okay, I'm a bit more curious and that stuff. And they started to explain to me how why we need vitamins and all this stuff. And I know why we need vitamins and minerals and stuff. But I thought, well, we get enough for our food. But she says, no, 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 you don't. So she started to give me a little bit of time and then I started seeing benefits of it and then I started using it more and more and then I started doing a little bit more in searching, researching. That's why I got into it basically. So I'd like to come on here and tell you what research I did. Now I'm going to take one product that we do, which is uh, zinc, coral zinc. Now zinc, we all know our bodies need it. It's good for your brain, it's good for your heart, it's good for everything. Uh, and I thought I'd come on here and talk about why I decided that to stay with this instead of going on anything else. Now I printed off a little sheet of paper. Now this is just the back of the ingredients from a very famous, I'm not going to mention any names, but it's a very, very famous retail brand that's on the high streets in everybody's town centre. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to mention any names, I'm just going to say they do a zinc product that's uh, 15 milligrams of zinc, 100 tablets and a bottle. Exact same as what Coral does. And on the back, uh, using the ingredients. Now, obviously, it says at the bottom of this ingredients, uh, 15 milligrams of zinc. And it also says a bulking agent of the diacalism phosphorate microcrystalline cellulose. If I say that right, which uh, bulking agent is basically stop the powder from crumbling into little pieces. Uh, every tablet has it, every vitamin has it, it's all of this. So we can't do nothing about that. Um, it also has uh, a caking agent. Now, the caking agent is to stop stickiness, which uh, most companies, most vitamins, I think, everybody's vitamins will probably have this uh, caking agent in it. Uh, it stops tablets sticking together, so they're all separate, all loose, and all that stuff. Makes sense. But one thing I did notice about this very famous brand, that is a health, conscience, and all that stuff, uh, this caking agent is magnesium uh, stearate and silicon dioxide. Now, silicon dioxide is what I looked up, is silica. Now, silica is a very dangerous chemical that if you inhale it, it will cause damage to your lungs. It will cause uh, scar tissue, which will lead to breathing problems, oxygen problems, uh, cancer, and everything else. And I wonder to myself, uh, if this has it, which is one of the most popular brands of uh, vitamins and supplements and all that stuff on the market, hundreds of thousands of branches all over the world, if these are one of the safest you can use, then surely coral must be even worse. Now, I researched into coral, and yes, they have caking agents, and yes, they have bulking agents. Of course they do, because they are vitamins in their tablets, and the tablets need this to keep together, to keep them separately. But what coral has done is removed this silica, because they understand that if you're going to take anything orally, then you're going to have to breathe. And if you're crunching something, or if you're swallowing something, then you're breathing something that's on top. And they've removed this completely. Now, I want to show you something else to do with this. Now, like I said, this is the coral. Tiny, small, little bottle. Contains 100 tablets, 15 milligrams zinc. Now, this is the size of the tablets. Just tiny little minute, very, very skinny small. Now, I don't have a bottle from this other brand shop because I won't buy that. But I've been to the shop and I have seen this bottle and I know the size of the bottle and I know the size of the tablets. Now I'll let you show you the size of the bottle. The bottle comes in a bottle like this. Now remember, this in the shop contains 100 tablets of 15 milligrams of zinc. Now, if you compare the two, you think to yourself, if this got 100 tablets in it and this got 100 tablets in it, why is this such a big bottle? Well, the vitamin itself of zinc is almost three times the size of that. 
And if it's 50 milligrams of zinc, which is the exact same as what coral is, and it's got the caking agent and it's got the bulking agent, then why is the tablet so big? What is it they're saying on the ingredients that isn't on the ingredients? Or maybe it's just backed up with so much uh, caking agent and baking agents and all that stuff that it's making these tablets even bigger than what they should be. Now these are the questions I asked myself and I went, well, surely all tablets should be at least this thin and at least this size. Surely there's something gone wrong here. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. But this is what I've noticed. If you can fit 100 mils or 100 tablets of zinc 50 mils into a tiny little bottle like this, but this big high street brand has a massive bottle like this, when you can see the size difference, there's something going on. When the tablets are twice the size, and then you think of the dangers of the silica dioxide, how much of the silicon dioxide is in these tablets that are on it? So this is one of the things I was worried about, and this is why I've chose, now this is just one example, I mean there's millions and millions of examples out there, uh, but this is one example that I noticed, are a big plus for why I'm using coral products because they've tried to take away any dangerous aspects of any product uh, make these things minimum so they're easier for swallowers and they're actually looking out for your health rather than just looking out to make money I mean you're thinking something that's bigger is going to be more and more important but you don't know what other kind of ingredients is in it so with the research I did by looking into this kind of things I decided that okay maybe this coral product is good and this is why I'm sticking with it. Now, I've been on coral products for a few months and the benefits are amazing. I can tell you that right now. I mean, I feel great, I feel fantastic. And like I say, I'm getting older. And I'm worrying about more and more about my health as you get older. Because you start to slow down. Your legs start to get a bit weaker. You, you're not so fit. I mean, I used to be able to run up 15 flights of stairs. Now I get to seven and I'm like, I'm done. I'm taking a lift. So, you know when you get to that stage that you're getting old which is fair enough. So this is why I'm sticking with it. Now, everything I'm researching about coral products, and I'm not going to bullshit you. You know what I mean? Because I can, I can bullshit you if I wanted, but I'm not going to, because it's up to you if you want to do this or not. You just can uh, research this the same as I've did, look into it and see what you think about it, and see if you can find any faults with the coral products, because at the minute I can't. Simple as. Uh, I'm feeling that they are the best on the market. They're safer for you, and they're gooder for you, and... I'm not one for vitamins or minerals because I believe that you get everything you need from your food. And this is me moving on to the next subject of why I'm taking these vitamins and coral products and that stuff. It's because when you start to take them, you start to do more research. Now, they all know the government has suggested that we take five a day. You know, five fruits and veg a day. And that's helping you get your vitamins and minerals from good food and good freshness and all that stuff. But did you know to get your daily allowance of potassium, for example? To get your daily allowance of potassium, you should eat 18 bananas a day. Now, I like bananas. I love bananas, in fact. One of my second, probably my second favourite fruit. But I would struggle to eat 18 bananas every single day just to get my potassium level for my daily amount. I mean, that is mental. And if you think, who else eats 18 bananas every single day? Now it has to be fresh bananas because once they become frozen or purified or anything like that, it starts to lose all its vitamins. So it's a fresh banana we're talking about. 18 fresh bananas every day just to get your recommended, now this is recommended, daily intake of potassium. Which is crazy amount. So this is why we substitute it with vitamins and minerals and everything else. Because there's no way it's, it's physically impossible for you to every day eat 18 bananas. Forget about the amount of potassium and bananas and moisture that you're putting in your body, but the, even the price would be astronomical. I mean, okay, I know, a packet of bananas probably cost you a pound, right, five bananas. So there's, say, four packets, four packets of bananas, so that's four pounds a day. Four pounds a day over a year is a lot of money. And that's just on bananas, just to get that one potassium amount into your body. It's impossible, absolutely impossible. Now, one thing I did forget to mention, that these two products, they do cost around about the same price. So you think, hmm. Anyway, moving on. So this is why I decided to take vitamins. Uh, because I'm listening to more and more of what I'm reading. Uh, I'm believing more and more in what I'm reading. Uh, you can see health benefits. Uh, you can see personal trainers recommend vitamins. Athletes take vitamins every day. Wrestlers take vitamins. UFC fighters, boxers, all that stuff. 
keep fitters, weight trainers and that, they all take supplements, they all take vitamins because they know it's impossible to get your daily amount into your body at once. Now, let's just say, and touch wood, in a couple of years I start to get ill. Now, uh, I've come down with some kind of, I'm not what I've jinxed myself by saying, but some deadly virus or deadly illness or something like that. And I have to go to doctors. Yeah, just like most of us, we have to go to doctors at least one point in our time. Now, you go to doctors and he's going to medical examine you, uh, have a look at you, then prescribe something to you. And what he's going to give you is, now, this is no disrespect to any doctors at all. I am not disputing any from NHS or anything like that. The doctors do an amazing job. But your local doctor's practice is called a practice. Yeah. Now, okay, maybe under some other name, but it's a practice. Now, why is it called a practice? Because that's what they're doing to you. They're practicing on you. They, you go in there with an illness, right? Somebody come in with an illness a couple of weeks ago, exact same illness as you, or exact same thing, we'll give you these tablets. Because that worked for them. So we're going to practice these tablets on you. You go back later on, oh, it's no worked. It's no helped. Oh, okay, right. So if that didn't help for you, right, we'll cross that off the list for you. We'll try this one because this helps somebody in this other place of the tune or this other city or this other tune or whatever. Try the ones. They're constantly practicing on you. Now, fair enough. I can understand why doctors do that. I can understand why medical staff do that because they have not got any sure example of what is causing your problem in your body. And you can go there with a sore leg. I'm getting pain running up to do my leg. Okay, this could be sciatica, it could be deep vein thrombosis, it could be an endless number of things. It could be weak veins, blood flow, something like that. So they try and give you more and more stuff. This helped this person, so we'll give that to you. Oh, it didn't help you, right? This helped this other person, we'll give that one to you. And they were constantly keep practicing and practicing and practicing until they find something that's helping you. It's a good thing because they keep practicing to try and find out what's helping you. But it's a bad thing because all these pills and all these stuff that you're taking is destroying your liver even more than what you have over your life. Now, we all know that uh, too much pharmaceutical companies are putting bad things into pills. Uh, paracetamols are extremely bad for you. All these tablets and stuff, they're just destroying your liver because your liver can't process this out of your body. So we all know that, but the minute a doctor says to you, oh, take this, this is going to help you, you're wolfing them, dude. You're taking them, taking them, taking them because you're desperate to be helped. You want this pain to stop, you want to stop feeling like this. Whatever reason it is, you just constantly, constantly want to do what you can to help yourself. So, I started taking these vitamins because I want to try and prevent that. I want to try and make sure that my organs and my bodily functions and my whole membrane works together in harmony so I can live a nice, happy, peaceful life. Now, if this means I have to take vitamins and supplements for the rest of my life, then so be it. I would rather do that than have medical conditions that the doctors are just going to be pumping me full of different kind of drugs to try and stop me from feeling like that. And then eventually, I'm still going to get bad effects later on in life. Now, these are not miracle cures, and these are not going to cure any illnesses, but they are going to ease your pain and help you with other things in life. I mean, like, like myself. Uh, I like my junk food, I like my sweets, I like uh, juice, I like uh, whiskey. Now, I use all that on a regular basis. I'm not over the top, but I do like it, say, once a week. And I know for a fact that that's doing damage to my body. But I also know for a fact that I am helping my body deal with this damage by taking these vitamins and supplements. Now, this is basically what I've come on to say. Why I've chose to say I'm using coral and why I am using coral. Because I am worried about my health now. I've got a small child, he's free. Uh, I'm thinking, right, I'm in my 40s. In 20 years' time, I'm going to be in my 60s. My boy's still going to want to go football matches and all that stuff, even though he's in his 20s. Or I want to live to see my grandchildren and all that stuff. And I'm thinking, right, maybe I have been abusing my body for all these years. Maybe I should really calm down and start focusing on doing other things to help my body help itself. And that's exactly why I'm taking this. Uh, I know there's hundreds of people out there that's just going to be listening to me going I get enough food and vitamin, I take my five a day, I do this, I do that but can you actually do more? Are you sure that everything you're doing is right? Are you sure you're living a proper health style? Do you not want to see the future? I'm not saying these are going to save your life 
So they're going to help your body work harder to fight anything that you're going to get. So I'm just saying that. So anyway, went on a bit of a downward note there. But anyway, uh, I just want to say thank you again for watching. Uh, any questions, any comments, anything, just please help yourself. Dig in. Uh, private message me if you want. There's no worries. I'm always here. Uh, I just want to say thank you again for everybody that watches my videos and enjoys them. Uh, full respect to you all. I hope you uh, feel entertained. I hope you can have a little bit of laugh. It's more of a serious video this time. But uh, next one I do will be a little bit more fun, a little bit more enjoyment. And uh, I need to stop focusing, looking that way, and looking at the camera here. I'm still not used to this uh, phone turned this way around, but all good. Anyway, take care, enjoy it, and have fun.